He was supposed to be the next Pele, but whatever happened to Freddy Adu? Adu was born and raised in Ghana, where he played against men three times his age. Now, him and his family would eventually move to Rockville, Maryland. And soon after arriving to the US, he was discovered by a local soccer coach who had him start playing against boys several years older than him. Now, showing that he was already extremely skilled even at such a young age, Adu would go on to attend the Heights School, a private school in Potomac, Maryland for several years. It was then that he would start playing in the US Olympic Development Program. And playing in an under-14 tournament against some of the best youth in the world, Adu thrived. I mean, he led the tournament in scoring and was named MVP. And it was then, at the age of 14, that Adu would make sports history, becoming the youngest American ever to sign a major league professional contract when he was chosen by DC United as the number one overall pick in the 2004 MLS Super Draft. And on April 3rd, Adu came on in United's first game of the 2004 season against the San Jose Earthquakes as a second half substitute, making him the youngest player to appear in United States professional sports. And not long after, still at the age of 14, he would score his first professional goal in the 75th minute of a 3-2 loss against the Metro Stars. And in doing so, he became the youngest player in MLS history to score a goal. Now, even with all this said, Adu was still heavily criticized from a number of different angles in his first season. Some commentators suggested that Adu was too young to play professionally and that he needed more time to develop mentally and physically. And actually, at the start of his second season, he was suspended one game for complaining about playing time to the media. And then in 2006, Adu would be traded to Real Salt Lake. And it was after that initial trade that Adu would become quite the journeyman, as after that season with Real Salt Lake, he would opt out of playing and would actually board a plane to Portugal to negotiate with Benfica, to which in July of 2008, he would join the French club AS Monaco. And then the next season, he was loaned to a Portuguese club. And then the next season, he would sign a 12-month loan with a Greek club. By 2000, and 11, he would return to the MLS, signing with the Philadelphia Union. Then about two years later in 2013, he would join a club in Brazil. Now this would go on for years, going from team to team to team. And finally in 2018, following a stint with the Las Vegas Lights, Adu would go on a two-year hiatus and for the majority of the time, worked as a youth football coach in Maryland. Before it was eventually announced in 2020, he'd be joining Austerlin. And Adu expressed a ton of excitement. He could not wait to get back on the field and continue playing professional soccer. But after only a month in Sweden, it was announced that Adu's contract would be terminated. And the Austerlin administration deemed Adu, and I quote, not physically or mentally fit enough to be competitive. It appears he's back coaching up-and-coming youth and awaiting his next opportunity in professional football. I mean, he's only 33 years old.